Friday Fitness on a Wednesday. And it is early in the morning, earlier than I ever usually film, but it's because I need to capture some lighting effects. And I feel like this is going to be a tough video to film. There's going to be a lot of darkness and weird lighting, but what I want to explain is how I use lights as my alarm clock in the morning. This is what's been going through my mind lately. Uh, and actually, this happens all the time. So many people I know complain, actually they brag that they're not a morning person. They, they love how much they hate it. And, or they talk about how they just can't. They're just not a morning person, period. And there's some validity to that. I'm gonna just go ahead and walk around and be in the darkness and stuff, because I need more coffee. So what happens is people will say like, yeah, I, I just can't. And I actually, I'm completely in the darkness. I agree. If I turn my alarm clocks off, I will naturally stay up later and later each night and then wake up later and later each day until I'm waking up in the afternoon and going to bed first thing in the morning. That's like, that's how my body is wired. That's, and, and I like that as a matter of fact, I really liked all of my life being awake between say 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. and in that time in that quiet a lot of other people have talked about this too in that sort of quiet and privacy you, you get uh, good creativity and I there there were times when I was songwriting a lot more often where I would you know in the middle of the night work on a very quiet intimate idea for a song then make a very quiet demo of it and in the morning like it's perfect i just i loved it so but you know waxing nostalgic aside i had to kind of give that up for professional and athletic reasons. And then I actually found that I like getting up in the morning and being done so much of the shit that I'm gonna do in a day by like noon or 2 p.m. Anyway, this has been a long preamble. So I had to find the optimal way to get up in the morning. And this is where the filming's gonna get really, really weird. So the first thing that I see in the morning, I'm gonna turn one light off. is that light. So I'm sleeping here, you're getting a view from my bed. And that light is, now I'm walking in the darkness, that light, uh, my particular one is by Philips, and it gives off that soft warming glow. It fades up to this level of brightness. Uh, starting a half hour before it's set to, and then at the specific time it's set to, it also fades in the sound of birds. Why this is cool is if I wake up, say I have a normal alarm and it's broadcasting annoying red light, orange light into the bedroom, I always know what time it is. And you can, even just trying to fall asleep, knowing what time it is can stress you out. But also if you wake up in the middle of the night and check the time, you start to stress out because you're, you're mentally doing math of how much more sleep you can get and blah, blah, blah. And you start dreading the morning and you're, you're setting yourself up for a shitty morning. With this, if I wake up and it's totally dark, I can go right back to sleep. If I wake up and it's a, really bright, then I know that the alarm is minutes away and I might as well get up. And then if it's anywhere in between, I know it's anywhere in between. And then the birds ensure that I will, A, hear something in case I do sleep really deeply. But also, it ensures that I have to get up and turn it off. So the birds fade in, and I get up, and I come and hit the button to turn them off. And I turn on this guy, my Viralux Happy Light. And as you'll see, it's a very different, harsher light. I'm completely used to it now but it's 
bright white, uh, it's bright white full spectrum light. I got this because I live in Canada and it's dark at 6.30 in the morning. And it shines into the kitchen. Camera grill it. Camera glitch ruined all the momentum that I just had, but I was rambling anyways. Anywho, the Viralux shines into the kitchen. It shines where I normally sit with my laptop and do my writing in the morning. And with that, it's just important to get like at least 15 minutes of the Viralux or any full spectrum light or UV light in your peripheral vision to have the measured uh, clinical effect of boosting the mood and just amping up your circadian rhythm because in the morning the two things that cause people to drag are the dark and the cold if it's cold you want to stay warm therefore you want to stay in bed if it's dark you want to stay asleep because it makes it seem cold so the fact that I have to get up to turn off my alarm is movement, the fact that the Viralux shines into the kitchen means that I can get a glass of water first thing. And then the Viralux being artificial sunlight of a sort, it just doesn't matter how dark and cold it is outside. My brain is beginning to process that it's morning, it's time to be active, blah, blah, blah. And so that's how I created the habit of being a morning person. Because once you do those things, once the Philips and the Viralux have both done 10 seconds of their job, I have no choice but to be up and awake, mentally active, and getting hydrated, and, and the day is underway. And then I, and then I like to get to work, because there's nothing else to do in the morning. Like, I'm completely free of distraction. And what I'm doing right now is taking practice tests for my fitness exams, and I love it. No distractions. No TV, no radio. Like, it's quiet at 6.30 in the morning. It's still dark outside. It feels private. There's no news worth checking yet and blah, 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 blah. So anyways, that's my rambling first thing in the morning coffee-fueled, messy-looking video about, um, about why you should have two lights and why peaceful yet effective waking up is actually the way to go. And the people who stress themselves out to try and wake up and like, and they just make the whole process a harsh antagonistic thing where it's you and sleep against noise and lights is just such a harsh, like it's, it's a terrible way to begin the process of the morning. You in the morning should be on the same team about getting you as ready as possible, as quickly as possible. And shocking yourself isn't gonna do that. Like you, you need to transition from being asleep to being fully awake. And the optimal way to do that is gently. Because slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Anyways, once again, wrapping up this rambling video, Friday Fitness, stay fit, have fun, leave no doubt.